the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. This Friday, mm. it's Good Friday, it's and good we're going to make it even better Friday. Okay. Strap yourselves in, everybody. Yep. There is a Gardening Australia That's holiday right. special mm-hmm. at 7.30 mm-hmm. on the ABC, of course. Um, the star oh, is Costa, and you will hear Costa utter the phrase, mm. there is Probably. nothing worse than a lonely peony. Good morning, Costa. Hi, Costa. <laughs> Pronounced, pronounced with aplomb, I must say. Thank you. Because, um, mm. you. You only need to get that emphasis on the wrong <laughs> syllable and <laughs> you can start to imply some things um, that may mm. carry a theme through the yes. show. Which well, we've, already already gone there. we've already Costa, gone there. Uh, mm. Can you tell me, is it the size of the peony or is it what you do with that? <laughs> no, it's, it's all about the hardening off. With your penis, <laughs> you got to harden them off. You do learn well, what do you hardening do off what do you is mean? on the what show. Do you like, tell me more about hardening you, off. You, you will, you will learn about that. You uh, will in the special. Can you yeah. can you watch it with your parents, or is it going to be embarrassing to learn about? No, no, it's 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 totally. Uh, you know, it's in the seven thirty slot, so mm. it's uh, SPG. No, mm. no. <laughs> That's my dad's no, nickname. No that's my dad's right. nickname for my mum. The seven thirty slot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, never too early. How are you, Costa? By the way, uh, Costa, is, that, is, is this the start you were looking is for, Costa? Just, is, just, is this just preamble or what's going on? No, no, no. Hey, is very interested in talking to you right now mm-hmm. because um, our boss Dave, um, yes. Dave Costa, Costa Dave. Hello, Costa. So Dave came Hello, in today. Dave. Dave came in today, and Dave, you've got a meeting. What's your meeting about? Me- so we- scheduled. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a, a brand new office and I've got to have a meeting today about which plants we put in the planter boxes for the new office. So, so indoor, the balcony. indoor plants. Yes, yeah, so indoor oh, plants. So okay. I, I was wondering... A meeting for plants. <laughs> and, and, and not just that, because so right Dave. now you're thinking that is going to be landscaping. Explain how no, many no. plants we're talking about in the size. 12, 12 pot plants. So they go into like a preset sort of size. About 25 centimetres I need. So I need something, an indoor plant that will fit in a reasonably small pot, about 25 centimetres in size. That looks, um, that looks, that looks nice. fresh, and modern. And die. But yeah. yeah, do you have to... Uh, do you have to do much uh, uh, caring of these plants? Well, hopefully not. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's one of the other yeah. things. So, any advice, Costa? Mm. Well, look, Dave, I, I'm feeling like the way you introduce that, I, I have to go to a meeting about some pot plants. Oh. Like, the, uh, the, the enthusiasm was a bit flat. Though. It was disrespectful. No, that's You're not right. a good it was, day, to it be was fair. disrespectful. I mean, it, it should be, I want to hear. I've got my most important meeting mm. of the week because yes. we are bringing nature into the office to embrace your employees to filter the air to provide horticultural Mm. therapy so that they're looking out on an on an an outlook that 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 is natural that will provide fractals fractals of repetitive patterns that Mm. are the equivalent of Mm. having symphony playing subliminally in the background that's the spirit i want dave yeah, that, that is that amazing. Is, what a great yeah, sell. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, to be honest, um, Nova officially doesn't want that mm. for the staff. <laughs> 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 yeah, they, want, they want to keep them in a tight lane yeah, that's and, right. and, and, yeah. work, and work, hammer them, work. get the most yeah. out mm. of them. Yeah. What do, what do you think? Plants-wise, yeah. Yeah. plants-wise, there's plenty you could look at. If you, if you want that structural form, you could yeah. go with some Dracaenas to get that nice doctor. Yeah, Spiel they're kind of a bit spiky, aren't they? Oh, yeah, I know Dracaena. Uh, well... Well, they've got pointy leads, but yes, they're not that's sharp what I mean. or anything. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Yeah. Um, you could go with some rapist palms if you want that sort of more tropical. Uh, no, we keep the racism uh, out of this building, mate. It feels like retiring. It's like yeah. you're retiring. Oh, okay. What about mother-in-law's tongue? That's old school. Oh, yeah. And that... That, I've got one of those. Um, it's, not, home. it's not pretty, no, though, is it? I That's going to keep I, everybody I think, on their toes. I think it's a very aggressive plant, the yeah. mother law tongue. I think you're wrong about that oh. one. <laughs> okay, what about ficus? What about ficus benjamina, like the ficus, oh. uh, the indoor figs? And you can get you can get the light green, yellow, uh, light green version with the variegated leaf that lightens up the space. Is that that's, is that, that, that's not the fiddle leaf fig, though, is it? No, fiddle no. leaf fig, look, in an They're office They're too space, tricky. It's too tricky, and and you'll get too many people saying, oh, I'll give it a drink, and then I'll give it a drink, and then I'll give it a drink, and they'll drown it. So, Mm. no, I wouldn't go with... If you go with, like, your philodendrons and your figs Mm. and things, like, they're pretty bulletproof. Mm. Um, Yeah, so they don't take much caring. 
um, Costa? No, not much, Kieran. Yeah, that's good. Do they um, absorb negative energy? (laughs) 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 There's so much of that in here. Well, if that's the case, we're going to need an orchard. (laughs) 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 I love it. <laughs> the negative iron generator. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And I, I, my suggestion, Costa, was he just goes to Bunnings because they're guaranteed if they die, you can just go back and get new ones. Well, look, I mm. look, oh. y- you know. Oh, here we go. Is that the wrong here attitude? Is here it? Here we go. You should be, we should no, be trying to keep them alive. Here we it, go. You can't go into it saying they're going to die. Well, well, I mean, they are. Pragmatists. They are. I shouldn't be allowed to buy plants. The amount I'm a serial killer, and I don't mean to be. Yeah, but everyone's got sap Mm. on their hands. You know, they They have dried up sap on their hands, (laughs) and you just move on. You know, like just move on. Nathan's the Dexter of the plant world. <laughs> I am. I've got a kill room. He only, he only which kills is, the my, bad My kill room is plants. any room they go in. <laughs> Cos, so you don't wipe, you don't wipe your plants down with leaves. Do, oh, sorry, with cloths, do you? Look, the hardcore indoor plant enthusiasts do kind of gesture as mm. such, but I, I I'll do it if I kind of mm. find that they start to get a, 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 a problem about them, you know? Yeah. But, Cost, uh, you're outside yeah, hugging your chickens anyway, aren't you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, hey, Costa, my wife wipes, wipes them down religiously, yes. right? She's full on with her plants. And the other thing is, Nathan, yeah. she le- she will leave a light on inside. So they don't illuminate them because they're dust free? Oh, no, no, yeah, no, it's no, a no, grow light, like yeah, a hydro yeah. kit. Well, yeah. it's just the light from the roof. And I go around at night. Obviously, you're going to turn, turn all the lights off in the house. But, but she no. wants it to showcase, yeah. like, a, like it's a bit she, of art. No, 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 no it's, so it's, it's the light for the to photosynthesis, grow. yeah. Uh, from a light bulb? Does that bulb? actually work yeah. from a light bulb? bulb? No. Costa? Well, look, I'm, I'm enthused by her uh, excitement about it all. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, the main... Um, the, the, the real... The real light that they're going to benefit from is is during yeah, the day because so well, of photosynthesis you, 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 and all. Then I'm yeah. pretty sure it doesn't come from a sixty watt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to pass that on. All right, we've got some people here yes, that would like need, need your help. Um, Haley's from Kinross. Hi, Haley. Hello. Hi, Hi. Haley. What is your question for Costa? Okay, so I have a beautiful Labrador. Um, we're currently landscaping, so we've like ripped all of our grass up. And he has decided to urinate all over the grass and it is brown and dead. Mm. Mm. So I need to know what is a really good grass to put down that's durable with our uh, lovely Labrador. With a peeing Labrador. Costa. Yeah, I'd, peeing I'd Labrador. probably say bricks. <laughs> <laughs> or a sand pit. <laughs> what do you reckon, Costa? Look, look, Labradors, like pound to pound, they, they uh, pass a lot of... <laughs> fluid and waste mm. and when when you inject at that level of uh, sort of intensity you know and they they, they 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 leave a fair amount in every session um what you need is to make sure you can you can regularly water the lawn to break it down because a labrador is going to move around it's going to dump that the, 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 you've got to pick the dumps up otherwise they're going to they're going to burn the lawn as well but the urine is intense and um yeah probably you want to go with like a a buffalo otherwise you know a kaikuyu is the sort of lawn that will get burnt but it will bounce back right whereas a buffalo will take it a little bit better but it doesn't bounce back as quicker so as quick so i'd I'd be i'd be thinking between those two but also consider that you know, if that dog is on that lawn and it's yeah. only a small area, you're going to be up against it. Okay. One thing that you can add in, though, um, Haley, I'm pretty sure you can go to the pet store and buy these rocks that go into, a, say, a water container where it just, uh, it, it puts some kind of minerals into the water that takes maybe the acid level down of the urine. We've looked at this before. Oh, okay. What? Dr. You're, you're, Chris you're, 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 so sorry. Instead, oh, sorry, of, instead of dealing with the lawn, you're going to deal with the dog. Yes. Yeah. Take it. <laughs> and, get and it that'll help the you. Just yeah. check it out. I mean, every we're dog that's blown. taken is dead two months we're, afterwards. We're all blown away. Give it a go. It's some actual useful advice. <laughs> we're a did, you, did you try that first? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, no, tried his on wife your tried dog. it on him. <laughs> <laughs> Sean doesn't go to the toilet. He walks past the toilet and goes and wees on the lawn at the yeah. back. Cost. So I'm pretty sure you'd do that too. You're a lawn weaver, are you, are you, aren't you? Do you wee on the lemon tree? 
plant more citrus. That could be Amy's solution. Yes. Yeah, like, that's a good idea. So you just plant the lawn with a, an entire forest of citrus and then the dog can just weed till its heart's content mm-hmm. and you'll get you'll get um, produce. Great like, citrus. That's, a, that's just saying. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah, just okay. Saying. Okay. Right right solutions there. focused. Thanks. All right, let's move on to Michelle in Mindari. Hi, Michelle. Good morning. Hey, okay. Mitch. What's Hi, Mitch. your question for Costa? Hi. Okay, I'm not a much for gardens. Actually, I'm not a gardener at all. But I have this indoor plant. I can't tell you what the plant is, but it's got like a big <laughs> stick in the middle, and a, it's like a vine that creeps all over it. Yes. Yep. So it. Oh, it sounds like a. Got, sounds. That, that that's extensive description. I can work with that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, I reckon if it's got a, it, it, it's sounding like. Like a philodendron to me, because yeah, that generally might be it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's say it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. let's pretend. Please. Okay, yeah. so it's got these. I've got these annoying little midges in it, and I just can't get rid of them. And I keep spraying it with fly spray, <laughs> and that's not working. <laughs> and I just don't know what else to do because they're everywhere. Yes, I know, yes. I know exactly I know what you Michelle. mean. What do you reckon, Costa? Yeah. What's the solution? Yeah, they're little. Um, they're, they're what we call little fungus gnats, I believe. Um, and fungus gnats. It was inter- It's it, it's funny that you, you you mentioned that because Jane Jane did a story on them. Um, they're like a little. They're sort of like a tiny. Um, they're dark, um, and they they get in and they lay their eggs on the organic matter near the surface of the soil. Yeah, okay. and. Yep. Um, and you know, and they are a, they are a bit of a nuisance. So what you need to do is, uh, how big's the pot? Um, forty centimeters, maybe. <laughs> You've got no idea. Diana, Michelle. Diana, Michelle. You just made that up, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Science stuff. Let's it's say it's forty. Middle, yes, middle sized. Okay, okay. middle sized. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so so they're they're attracted to the organic matter and and damp soil. Um, because it's it's in the damp soil where they can lay their eggs. Mm. Um, so what you need to do is allow the soil to dry out, um, and uh, and if you allow it to dry dry out between waterings, that'll discourage the gnats. Okay. Making your pot We've good. tried it here and she keeps yeah. waking yeah, up. Still, yeah. <laughs> Old fungus gnat still here. <laughs> we sprayed it with everything, Costa, I can assure you. <laughs> All right, let them dry out, Michelle. Right, thanks, Michelle. Nancy's going to okay, finish us off. One. Hi, Nancy. Hi, how are you doing? Good, Great, Nancy. 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 What is your question for Costa? Um, I actually want to know if I've gone crazy because I've got such a bad bendy infestation in my lawn. Oh, You've got to get I've Terry and Robert onto to that. <laughs> I started to dig it up yeah. by hand oh. and pick every little bindi out, but it's quite therapeutic. Mm. Oh, so oh, it's not everyone else. You're actually quite enjoying you, it. Now you're talking. This, this, <laughs> square meters is not a good this idea. Spirit. Hmm. This is the spirit, right? Because oh. it can be therapeutic, oh. and if you go about it in a systematic and gentle way, like don't say, "Oh, I'm going to spend all day Saturday," yeah. and really motivate yourself not. To, to say, oh, I'm just going to weed. Mm. Just go out and do a little bit. Okay. Say, right, I'm going to do one square metre and that's it. And then go and do your other things and then come back one afternoon yeah. after work and go, oh, I'll do half a square metre. But by the and time you get to the last it. square metre, yes. hasn't the first square metre of weeds grown back? No. Okay. Because if you dig the bindies out by hand and if you get them before they dry out, and become bindies and start to drop their seed, yeah. then then you'll get them you'll get them and they're done. And you can just put a little bit of top dressing over the area if you if you sort of rip rip it, the lawn a little bit so that where you've dug it up and the lawn's sitting up a bit, make sure you push compact the lawn back down onto the soil and water it so that it's not sitting up in the air and it could dry out. Mm, By nice putting word. some topsoil in, yeah. that will bed it down. Is it just yellow sand, Tosca? Uh, Costa? Tosca. 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 I don't know where we came up with that. Week, I'm doing Tosca. a version of Tosca. Tosca. Uh, That's a new pasta dish. <laughs> is, uh, what was that? Is it yellow, yellow? Just yellow sand on top, or it's a whole mixture of stuff? Yeah, you, you could just you could even rub just some um, compost in there, or a, a little bit of um, uh, top topsoil. Mm. Yeah. 
I thought you needed just a little bit. So you're sitting out the back hand-picking prickles, by the (laughs) way. Not that hard. That's a day out, isn't it? (laughs) Come on. There's lots of too short. If you're enjoying it. I know. I suppose so. Some people like doing the dishes. Yeah. Yeah. Some people like picking prickles. Costa or Tosca, as Sean likes to call you. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a new one. Gardening Australia holiday special. It's on this Friday, Good Friday, at ah, 7.30 on the ABC. It's a great Friday with Costa. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much, Costa. What a treat, team. Thanks oh. for a fun yarn. Oh, Have good on you, buddy. Happy Easter. Mate. Bye, buddy. See ya. Bye. And there's nothing worse than a lonely peony. There is nothing worse. <laughs> Never forget. Google it. What do you got to do? Harden them off or something? Yes, you got to harden, harden them, them off. off. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Land <laughs> back on my chair. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, no, show me. Wait, let me off. Let me see. No, she'll go ass over. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they go. Oh, like yeah. That. No, no, no. Nathan, pull the lever underneath and you can go into relax mode. What's that do? This. Is it fully recline? Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Why does anyone need to do that, that at their work? <laughs> That's good. What do you mean? If you're doing that at your work. You're not working. I mean, there's obviously a happy ending involved <laughs> at, the, at the completion of whatever your shift is. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, anyway, everything's fine. It's fine. I think it's about time that I lead the chat on fitness. You know what, not only do I agree, many agree. Many agree, Sean. Um, uh, the one thing that sort of um, stopped me from going down that track... Well, this would be good. Just the one. Just the one thing? Is how serious people get about their, their meal prepping. Mm. And we saw it many years ago. There was a couple that lived here in um, uh, WA and they're on The Amazing Race and we had an yeah. interview with yes. them and they yep. came in here. Tyson and... Uh, I cannot remember. Yeah, but they're in the vet. fitness yeah. industry. Yes, and... Yes. Um, so anyway, they said, oh, hey, can we borrow your microwave? And we said, yeah, no worries. Why? And then they pulled out the saddest thing out of both their bags, and it was two sweet potatoes. It was an emergency sweet potatoes. Emergency sweet, emergency and, sweet and potatoes. And they had travelled around the world yes. with emergency sweet potatoes in their bag yeah. just in case they were somewhere and needed an instant energy shot. Well, it was the carbohydrates that yeah. they were looking for and the low GI. Fuel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And we're just like, Sean. you do realise there's a burger shop over the road. <laughs> exactly, nothing but wrong with the large chips. If you're riding training and, you know, you're riding into this meal prep and stuff like that, I mean, it becomes your whole world. And mm. this is what's happened with this uh, guy. He's uh, a TikToker at Jim Skin. And he shared a video of him at Ocean Beach in Ibiza, oh, which is yeah. one That's of the club. biggest clubs. Yes. And uh, here's his mate filming what he's up to there. Ocean Beach. Ocean Beach. Even at Ocean Beach, I've got my meal prep. Ocean Beach. Even at Ocean Beach, I've got my meal prep. So he, he was standing there, around him, are clubbing hard as you do in Ibiza, Sean, you yes. know. Yeah, absolutely. And um, he's just got like a Tupperware container and he's eating whatever healthy slop he's got in there. Be like <laughs> beans and rice. It would be, yeah. Oh, some protein. He needs yeah, some protein. He needs some protein, to protein in, in there. True. People do take it absolutely seriously. That's taking us to the next level. If you're at a nightclub in Ibiza... I mean, also, normally you're not eating at all. It means, you've, a of water. <laughs> it means you've had to take a bag that fits your Tupperware in it as well. Like, do you know what I mean? Uh, David uh, yeah. McClung, our yeah. boss, is here. Mm. David, um, we were talking freak. about meal prep. <laughs> Um, <laughs> tell us about your friend. We had a friend who, uh, when we went to Italia, an Italian restaurant a few years ago, she didn't eat. She didn't have anything except for a cup of tea. And while we were eating dinner, she went out to the car and had a roast chicken with salad <laughs> in there <laughs> she ate while we were having dinner. And then, so, and then she came back she into came the back restaurant. Yeah, so yeah. she didn't order any food. <laughs> she ordered a cup of tea no. and then ate chicken in her car yep. and then yep. rejoined you. It Absolutely. wasn't about saving money at all. No, 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 it was no, just it was, about she was on a meal diet, prep, yeah. be on a Can diet. Can I say, yeah. I know that you are, your body is your temple and you're creating a structure that's going to, you know, serve you well into old age. But, like, I mean, really, car chicken? <laughs> like, 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 we live in a world like, where like, are you living? Chicken? I know you're living and you'll probably live longer, but are you living? in the now when you're eating a chicken in your car and your friends are inside the Italian restaurant enjoying yes. pasta well, and if you're, a conversation. If you're inside, if you're in your car and they're inside, you're not enjoying their company. So what? Are no. you, what why did you go? No, but when you're in that zone, you become more and more righteous. Sean's very defensive yeah. oh, no, no, I'm just saying, that's no, what happens. I you start it. eating this stuff and you come around, oh, look at me, I'm the greatest. Look at me, I've got willpower beyond... Beyond anybody. Yeah, but also, you, you, why go out then? Because you're not having any fun. <laughs> we would like to speak to you. If this is what you do, right? Or so you've you seen it. are so strict with your meals that you need to take them to places that we would never dream of, let us know what that mm. is. Carly's in Belgrave. It's morning, Carly. Morning, Nathan. Morning, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Hey
Good morning, guys. Now, Hi, Carly. Carly. Are you the meal prepper or do you just know one? I am the meal prepper. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Sorry. I was doing a gut detox thing, so no wheat, no dairy, no processed foods, no nothing. And it always happens to fall when you have social occasions and <laughs> things. Every time. But, uh, sorry, there was a few things happened while I was on there. I had my dad's birthday. I turn up with my grilled chicken and salad while everyone else is devouring ice cream cake, <laughs> lolly, chocolate, you know, all the name it. Sorry, I was... Like, I just sat there in the corner eating my chicken. Yes. Um, my kids wanted to go see a movie. I took them to the movie. They are eating popcorn. I absolutely love popcorn. I sat there with my celery stick and <laughs> rest of uh, Jeez, you know, as, as much as you want to kid yourself. I know. I mean, you know you're not misery, enjoying that. Isn't it? That is such willpower. <laughs> and I mean, impressive. Another time, another time I was running a bake sale for a local fundraiser. Yeah. And I... I sat there and ate my rotisserie chicken while everyone else ate and devoured all the goodies that we baked and oh, were selling. Brownies, and I whole didn't lot. Touch, yes, everything. Honey crackles, my favourite. Honey I didn't crackles. Touch a single one. And uh, I tell you what, that definitely tested the willpower when you go to social functions and you are not eating it. And yeah, well, it, was, it was hard, but it was worth it. Yeah. I've seen this happen, and when I speak to these people that you know, while they're doing this, you say, "Oh, come on, are you really enjoying that?" And they mm. always go too full on the other way and go, "No, this is the best. I've never felt so good in my life." <laughs> Honestly, how are you feeling when you're at your dad's birthday and everyone else oh. is eating whatever they want, and you're on the corner eating? Was it boiled chicken? <laughs> It, it was yeah, it was a cooked rotisserie chicken. It was the easiest. But no skin. skin. Yeah. No skin. No skin. I did sneak some skin in sometimes. Oh, oh you yeah. wild oh, oh, man! Yeah. Oh. Come on, mate. That was mate. probably my cheat, I think. Um, but yeah, it was. You you had to think about it and go, why am I doing this? And then you go, okay, it's worth it. And then yeah, but if you weren't in that mindset, it, as a meal prepper and things like that. It is very hard to do in social situations. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would often. need I would need the results to be for me to do that once and look down and there be yes. abs. Uh, yeah, I would instant need instant results for me to have to be able to do that. Yeah. The All long, right. the long haul, the lo- play the long game. Not going to happen. Thanks, Carly. Yeah. Look, we're going to throw it, it out there. There's got to be more people who are associated with meal preppers out there for sure. Or you do it yourself. Kelly, hello. Hi, how are you guys? Good, now, Kelly. Kelly, Good are you in love with a meal prepper? I am, and it's torture. <laughs> Talk us through it. What's the worst? The worst is Christmas Day. We, or I, will cook his boiled, disgusting chicken, and he will have it with broccoli while we're having the works. And he sits there <laughs> pulling faces at us, making me feel guilty. Oh. And his food just looks and, yeah, smells you, disgusting. You can't do that Christmas Day. That's no. the cheat day of cheat days. Yes. So he has, he must have a cheat day himself. So why wouldn't it be Christmas Day, Kelly? Well, as we're getting closer to his bodybuilding show, right. it's the timing. So he will yeah. have cheat meals when it's six months out. But when it's a lot closer, there's no cheat meals. There's nothing. And he... I deter- like I love his admiration and determination, but it's torture for me. Yes. I have my cheat meal, and he looks at me yes. as if like yeah. it's the judgment. Why? What do you mean your way? cheat meal? He sees every meal that you're yeah. eating as a cheat <laughs> meal. <laughs> uh, exactly. The thing, the thing about that is. When you're having uh, something really great to eat with someone, the, half of the fun is eating with them. Yeah, yes. yeah, agreed. Is agreed. the joy of sharing that meal. And do you feel like you're missing out on that, Cole, when, you know? Oh, 100%. I feel like sometimes I need to go to a restaurant by myself because <laughs> the guilt and, you know, and... You know, sometimes he'll actually even bring his chicken and rice to a restaurant and I look at him going, you just can't do that. No, yeah. No. How big is his rig, Cal? Oh, he, he, yeah, he's pretty big. Like, that bit's worth it. Like, I'm happy in England. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, now the that you, can, you can't climb all the anymore, but no. <laughs> she gets to climb something. Thanks, Thanks, starting. Thanks, Kelly. Bethany's in Mandra. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi Beth. Beth. Who's the meal prepper? Um, my sister's in-laws. We, um, I went to her wedding and I looked over at the groom's side of the family at their table and I see his parents with Chinese containers full of rice and chicken and broccoli and, and the works at the reception. 
at your kid's wedding. Why would they no, do that? Oh, yeah, or their kid's wedding. Of their yeah. kid's, of yeah. their kid's so wedding. So chicken, rice and broccoli. Normally you get the fish and the meat or yeah. chicken anyway. So he's got... Um, he has to weigh everything, apparently. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, all about, it's all about the macros. Sure. Yeah, but you yeah. know what? But, but, but it's, but it's it, those parents, it's their child's wedding. Isn't that the day you, you cut loose? For sure. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Were, they in, were they working to some competition? Did they have like a race coming up or something? Or that's just their lives? I don't think they have a race coming up. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think they used to live a pretty unhealthy lifestyle and now they're really, really deep into the, the meal prep. And so they flip the other way. I know, but yeah. it's a, the, those I meals know. at a wedding... I not, it's not exactly KFC on That's a plate, That's exactly is it? right. That's exactly right. I it's love KFC, by the way. <laughs> who doesn't? Get a cheeky slider here and there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kelly's husband, that's who. Yeah. Um, thanks, Bethany. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.